there we go <laughs> hi everybody welcome in welcome in welcome in it's a beautiful monday i'm sorry i'm late i took a nap y'all know i'm old y'all know i'm old not high spongebob john a go to hell all right <laughs> Lord have mercy. I just, I, we just can't, you just can't be cordial. You just can't be. <laughs> Jeez Louise. Hey y'all. Uh, wait, I forgot. Is, is Hitchcock like Agatha Christie? I have no idea. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, what if Leash Capi shared the live video? How the hell did I share the live? What? How did I share the live? Did I share the live? I don't know what the heck is going on. <laughs> anyway also if you're on tiktok because i am streaming on tiktok so welcome in to all my tiktokers over there i know how my other my my twitch people they be some haters sometimes but i i really appreciate uh my tiktokers especially if you you, you know please make sure you share and you like because that really matters over there i guess so I am always sleeping. Oh, but yeah, um, I guess I could give y'all an update on like for anybody who was here yesterday, I give you a little update on my my therapy. It was nothing but like a little, like a get to know you, like you know, just tell me a little bit about yourself and stuff like that. So it wasn't really like my true uh therapy session. Now my therapist isn't able to like diagnose me because she's not a psychiatrist or a, nur a nurse practitioner psychiatrist. So I actually had to go and schedule an appointment with a uh, nurse practitioner psychiatrist or whatever. And I have that, um, I have that one on Monday. So next Monday I'll be going to hopefully we get it done in one session jesus christ i'm listen i i hate i hate the waiting like damn diagnose me shit i'm i ain't got that much time left i'm in my midlife if you really think about it we don't live to 100 we live to about 70. the average person lives to 70 years old i'm in my midlife hurry up and diagnose me damn it shit <laughs> i want to be diagnosed <laughs> oh yeah i am streaming on youtube tonight uh for anybody who's on tiktok i am on youtube as well so yes under the same name definitely how the hell did i share the live how do i share my own did somebody hack me hold on let me make sure it is it is crisis time shoo i <laughs> oh my goodness no, I still got access, so. Um, but yeah, Leash looked up the symptoms on WebMD. I don't think I did all that, you know. <laughs> I didn't do all that, damn it. Uh, therapists provide treatment, but they can't diagnose. So if y'all are looking to get diagnosed, go to a psychiatrist, psychologist. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And it's crazy because I had the, I had the means to do it beforehand, but I didn't know no better. So now that I know better, um but a therapist the thing about it is that therapists help you in a different way i'm guessing than psychiatrists i think psychiatrists are there to just like monitor i'm guessing i don't know nothing so don't don't take anything i say seriously um but i'm guessing that uh psychiatrists are there to monitor how your mental health is getting like in terms of like you know the the medical shit so like, you know, if you need to adjust, adjust the prescription and stuff like that, or you stuff, you can talk to them about your like everyday life. And, but it's more so like your immediate, like, you know, what's going on in here, like the health wise, whereas like therapists are there to like talk about your shit, you know, they're there to talk about your everyday life, how it affects you. They can help you with certain, with certain ADHD things. But a therapist is more like a personal, or am I tripping? I could be tripping. I don't know nothing. I just be talking shit. <laughs> My stream is so pretty. Thank you, Vicky. Thank you, thank you. The psychiatrists are very, yeah, like very sciencey. And I'm thinking like therapists are more like, you talk about them more about like the other stuff. So I don't know, we'll see. 
I have both. I'm using, I, I said 2023, I am using my health insurance. You hear me? Because the way they played me on my taxes this year, okay, the way they played me, I only went to, last year, I only went to the Coochie, well, the, I'm sorry, the OGBYN, I forget, I'm, I'm on YouTube and uh, <laughs> TikTok, so I can't be extra nasty, but I went to the OBGYN, and that was it last year. I was like, as long as that's good, I'm good. As long as it's good, I'm good. <laughs> But I said, you know what? Nah, they played me this year. I'm going, I'm scheduling everything. I'm I'm slick about to uh schedule something for like, I don't know, I might get a dermatologist. Who knows? <laughs> Therapists are for talking, psychiatrists are for the drugging. Well, thank you, Swalsh. That was a that was a nice way to put it. Thank you. You trying to use up your parents' insurance before you age out? I say do it. Y'all, especially if you especially if you're under your parents' insurance. Use that insurance. Go to the doctor every chance you can get. Okay? Every chance you could get. Do not waste money paying for insurance and not going to the doctor. I'm about to be a a, a menace. <laughs> Right, get some acupuncture. I might go and get my back crack. I might go to a, a what is a chiropractor. All that's covered under my insurance. I'm about to be up in there all the time. They're gonna hate me. <laughs> uh, taxes made you pay enough for it. They did. Therapy has such a dampening reputation when in reality it's extremely helpful and wonderful. I know I'm excited for next week. Uh, I wish I still have my parents' insurance. Keep records of all your medical bills too. Mm-hmm. Psychiatry requires some sort of medical higher degree because they prescribe medicine. Psychology, I think, have a PhD. Therapy can have a master's, but they complete like a bunch of residency hours. Oh, okay. Thank you, Dr. BT, for the science, you know. Thank you for the science. But yeah, anywho. That was my that was my thing. And then I went and I did my morning walk. Uh, then I came home. And what the hell did I do when I came home? Honestly, I don't think I did shit, to be honest, to be fair. I was sore. That morning walk hurt. God damn. But it's funny because at the end, at the end of my morning walk, I was walking the trail. And the trail is, like, difficult because they have, like, hills and stuff. So I walked the trail twice, and it's, like, a mile uh, around. So the second time I walked it, I was done. I got to the end. I said, I did it. And there was somebody walking behind me. And it was like, I know that's right. <laughs> I didn't think they was going to be. I didn't. First of all, I didn't know somebody was behind me. So that uh, you, I got to start paying attention. And then second of all, what did I click on? Why is this going? Second of all, the I know that's right. Tickled the fuck out of me. <laughs> Lord have mercy. But yeah, I had a I had a pretty pretty good day today. I can't complain. Everybody can relate to that victory cheer, of course, of course, because I was struggling. Because I don't think I I don't think I uh I didn't really go walking last week like that. So I'm like I gotta get back on it. Cause I I got stuff to do. I have stuff to do, especially like I'm. I just I like there's a whole bunch of places I gotta go this year and I don't wanna be you know out here with my hips hurting like an old lady so anyway what's the name of this game Alfred Hitchcock's Vertigo it's the actual name not you know anything nasty so you wanna go to therapy as well you wanna research rates at some point because apparently oop oop not it Hold on. There we go. Uh, because apparently insurance doesn't pay therapists their full rate. I'm not sure. I need to do some more research. So the way my thingy is set up, I think I have to reach my deductible in order for me to like pay like <laughs> in order for me to like pay uh, OK and an OK rate. And my deductible is fairly low. It's not a very high deductible, so that's good um but yeah that's how they do it sometimes like once you get to your deductible then that's when your your uh 
co-pays and stuff or whatever goes down so uh i'm not playing bramble i'm playing alfred uh hitchcock's bramble's gonna be on saturday i'm gonna finish up bramble on saturday because i'm pretty sure i'm finished almost finished at least so um not deduct these oh my god swash please not the name of the game is dbd <laughs> y'all <laughs> what's up siren how you doing um there's lots of great apps available too i use better help for therapy and sesame for meds oh okay i know there was something that was being promoted on on tiktok there was like a website called done i looked into that but it was just like there was no appointments so i was like let me just go through my health insurance um after walking a lot during cons i've have been working out more because cons can be physically draining mm-hmm that's how i felt at the damn ren fair i was like oh hell no i can't i can't live like this i gotta start walking because i felt like i was about to die at the ren fair when doctors are in your network with your insurance that means that insurance has a set price that the doctor can charge for certain procedures but doctors write it off as losses on their taxes oh I'm sick of insurance too. Honestly, I'm sick of being grown. I just want to go back to a simpler time. <laughs> I'm tired of being an adult. Being an adult is lit when it comes to like, you know, can't nobody tell you really what to do. And you know, you could do the bad things if you want. You could drink. You could, if you're, if you're a slug, you could be a slug, but that's about it. There's no, there's, there's really no other perks. Oh, you could drive, but I was driving since I was 16, so that don't really count. <laughs> it's all a scam. I, I really don't like being an adult. It's It stinks. Was I playing on mouse and keyboard or was I playing on... I was playing on a controller. I do not remember. I think I was playing on controller. Yeah, driving. I like driving kind of sort of because i've always been the driver of my like friends i've always been the designated driver so i don't know it's just weird when other people drive me around in a car okay here we go so where where do we leave off where we left off somebody was found unalived uh in a basement it was one of the dude's dads or something and what was like the last, la I guess we're gonna see what the, oh, she ate that sandwich that lady, that crazy lady made. And she's about to go back in there and talk to uh old dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you tired of being grown too? This shit is hard, it is. What's up, Jason? How you doing? Welcome in. The farmer guy, the other cops, dad or uncle. The farmer guy was found um the cop found the farmer guy in the basement uh so all right here we go hopefully this game ain't super long i hope i'll finish it today but if i don't finish it today that's fine oh yeah she was in her hotel room okay this is where we left off all right cool so what was the oh i think i was on mouse and keyboard i don't think i was using because i remember pressing tab to see the yeah i was on mouse and keyboard order something for uh, for dinner go over afternoon session notes inform robert okay so we got to order something for dinner dinner Um, where's her phone? There it goes. Oh, wait. Order dinner. Mrs. Lomas, is there anything I can get you? Um, you don't do dinners by any chance, do you? No, but there is a wonderful restaurant in Santa Anita, about five miles from here. Oh, thank you. I think I'll order in. It's been a long day. Oh, good luck with that. They don't usually deliver here. I just know I that carpet is nasty, something. of course. If you'd like, just this one time, I can add it to your bill. Would no, you thank like you. Anything in particular? Anything you have is fine. I'm not picky. Hmm. 
Just give me a few minutes and I'll bring you something, okay? I don't normally make people food, but I got something just as special for you. That doesn't sound suspicious at all. Oh my goodness. Uh, I kind of want to talk to Lou because I want to know what her and Lou got going on. You're not even going to reply. It's just a little message. Hello, just you don't want to talk and I understand. I just need to hear your voice. It soothes me. If you were trying to make me feel like shit is working. Oh, he's drunk. I need you. You're the best thing that's happened to me. Oh, he cheated. That's a cheater. <laughs> that, that, that's a cheater. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Am I team Aegon or team Rhaenyra? It's not that Ed is worried about his uh, mental stability. I think it's I'd be Rhaenyra. Like he's unconsciously repressed some of his memories or distorted them. But did he block things out himself or with the help of someone else? Mm. I think his, his mom or the, his aunt. Yes. Claire was avoidant when I asked her about Ed's past. What if she played a part in that repression by being elusive? Oh, and we found out that his mom was pregnant. That's what it was. Things never happened. What if Ed, aside from fulfilling his father's dream of becoming a writer, followed in his footsteps in other ways? What if, by driving himself off a bridge, Ed was trying to copy his father. Copy his father how? I don't like making these decisions. Like, cause I don't know. <laughs> uh. Hmm. I wanna say maybe John abandoned them? No, John wasn't suicidal. Something tells me he abandoned Ed and Maddie. What about his mother? How does one deal with a situation like that? Am I making these decisions? Ooh, okay. So I'm just gonna put myself in somebody's shoes. If I, my husband was no good and, and, and a drunkard and mean, I would have yeeted the fetus. But in my mind, she probably had it had the baby to keep the marriage together. What if a possible sibling Ed has never mentioned is one of the memories he's repressing? Too mm. many questions. I hope Robert has some answers. <laughs> Not Gregnant. <laughs> I'm putting the pieces together. I don't feel like it. I feel like I'm making decisions. <laughs> it's just so, everything's so cut and dry. Hey, sweetie, you must be exhausted. Did you oh. find Oh, you should have let me do it for you. You would have picked oh. something way too fancy. Oh, right. yeah. Yeah. of course. <laughs> What's up, Shoto? You just deserve much more. So tell me, how is that? You know, I can't, but I'm paying for it. That's not going to work. No, no. Yeah, of course. Uh, I know, I know, but she got a little boot right, thing, right? It's still too soon to tell, but it's not going to be easy. Hey, dish the dirt. So what do you think of his aunt Claire? Have you known her for long? Just over the phone these last few days, but uh, hey, don't change the subject. She's hiding something. No, I think she's hiding something. Uh, yeah, I totally get it. Well, I have some bad news. She doesn't want me to continue with Ed's treatment. She called me a little while ago. On the one hand, she says you're very professional. I knew it. And she likes how punctual and responsible you are. Oh, 
And the bad news? She's thinking about moving things out of Ed's room so you can bring in the equipment. What? Does she think I'm going to use brain scanners? <laughs> no, I don't think so. No, physical therapy equipment. Walkers and stuff. I don't think she realizes you're a psychiatrist or a psychologist. What well, it? what were we just talking Ow. about earlier? Both. Really? Well, the lady has a whole different picture. Um, I still don't understand why that's a bad thing. Hold on. Ed hates psychiatrists. I'm sure Claire does, too. No, no. Uh, yeah, for sure. When they find out. Ed already knows and seems okay with it. As for her... He's, a, he's cute, I but a tad not. bit too sarcastic. Wait a second. I need to think. Yeah, sure. Take your time. Sweetie. I thought she was a Karen, I too. I was about to say. Oh, I did order some dinner, and it should be here any minute now. Oh. Oop. What was that for? Tell me about Ed's parents. Well, don't know much. His mother died in a car accident. What? Damn! And his baby sister. Damn! Knew it! So, she had it. And his father killed himself. Oh. I wouldn't have thought. How? He jumped from a bridge. And you didn't think to tell me this before? Well, I, uh... No. It just slipped my mind. Ed is following in his father's footsteps. And I'm sure oh. his first episode of Vertigo came as a result of that trauma. Yeah, rings a bell. Jesus! Robert. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. Why are all the games that I'm playing are very, like, heavy? We gotta lighten it up this weekend, because I can't. How did you make that? <laughs> Through a mutual friend, one of his college professors. She gave me his manuscript. I loved it, and we met up. The novel was a diamond in the rough, but it needed a lot of editing. Lucky for him, he was talking to the best editor in Los Angeles. It was a few months worth of work. He would come over, we'd read, talk, drink. Yeah, we're gonna have to play some DVD or something to lighten it up this weekend, because I... <laughs> I'm still traumatized about that big old uh, troll squishing all those gnomes. Oh my goodness. Anyway, we're gonna continue. Uh, let's see. You yeah. and Ed, were you pretty close? Yeah, kind of. He became a good friend of mine until Vera... Not squish. Robert? Emotional damage. Yeah, uh, yeah she does no. have a little bit of OC Sorry. OCD. I don't know. That's, yeah, that's what it looks like. Just a tad. Are you all right? Yeah. No. Uh, you threw the gnomes into the gore pit? I'm sorry. I didn't know. Yesterday. No. Um, the day before yesterday was the anniversary of Veronica's death. Oh. I completely forgot about it. It's been eight years, and that's never happened to me before. Do you want to talk about it? No. Yeah. It's fine. It's just weird. It's like I'm... I like her voice. I remember. You said this would happen, didn't you? In our last session. Possibly. Oh, dinner's here. I'll be right back. So that's her, for, that's her now boyfriend? Or... Because I'm confused. Because, like, who the hell is... So we have Robert, which is her now boyfriend. Ah. Take out. And we have the other Bachelor's dude. Bachelor's best friend. Lou. Hey, how's Lou? Oh, so maybe that's not her boyfriend. He's getting worse. Didn't he call her baby? Oh my, a visit this late, doctor? He said our last session. I eat too. Yeah, right. Of course. I'll leave you to it, sweetie. Bon appétit. Talk soon, yeah? Bon appétit. Mrs. Lomas, your dinner's going to get cold. I'm so confused, y'all. He did call her baby earlier. Oh, they're not dead, at least from how you read it. I thought it was, I thought, you know. 
She was giving him a little after session service. <sighs> I will say this this game definitely was a slow burn, but now like I'm very much invested. So you keep forgetting you're live on YouTube on Mondays. Yeah. Y'all will get used to it eventually. I actually like being live on here. It's a little bit more calm. One, y'all are more calm. Thank God. Cause All right, kid. Let's go. Y'all some heathens. But <laughs> y'all are calm. And my TikTok people are always calm. <laughs> we can make it not calm. Please, Walsh. Tell me anything like that over walkie-talkie. Not ever again. Adam. I wanted you to know as soon as possible. It seemed like the right thing. I've never needed a hug so badly. Oh. You know what I'm talking about. Do you? Kid. We have to find my aunt. We'll find your aunt. She's alive, right? I don't I know. So. Harley is getting ready for the biggest search party you've ever seen, Adam. We've already got over a hundred volunteers coming. We'll find her. Oh, poor Adam. All right. He said, I don't ever want to hear that over a walkie talkie again. I guess that's fair. Let's I just didn't know what else to do. Not Leash likes to lie. That's crazy. <laughs> You don't want me to go down there? I've done this before. Just pay attention. Give me more or less slack when I tell you to, okay? What are we doing? What is what's happening here? You think there's a connection, don't you? Between my uncle and Ed Miller. According to the forensics, your uncle died. Was murdered. A little over a week ago. Well, damn. Uh. Nine days ago today, Miller tried to kill himself. We are talking pretty much the same day that Miller's car went over that cliff. And the jackass says. He was riding with a girl and a baby that no one's ever heard of. But finally <sighs> went down and didn't find anything. We don't put out fires, and they don't find things. That's fair. That is fair, even though, you know, it's still a cap. But, you know. <laughs> All right. Batman voice was murdered. He did put on the Batman voice. Adam's voice sounds familiar? Really? We could uh, look up who the voice actors are in this game because the one, the voice acting is really good. That's another reason why I think I'm really tolerating this game. I'm on the ground. It's because the I'm voice acting the isn't like super cringe. They actually did a good job. It's kind of on par with like, um, you know, the Telltale games. Roger that, boss. What's up, Crowbatty? I skipped the monthly dinner, Nick. Mm, no reason. I just didn't feel like it. Oh. I don't know why. Just didn't. He does need a hug. Not in a man. Come on, Johnny, please. <laughs> just stayed home. Watched some stupid show with Marcello. Oh, my goodness. Maybe if I had gone. Let me None comfort him. It's your fault. The real culprit is out there, and we're going to find him. Okay? Sure, we will. He's going I get through. I feel that way. 
and I have no idea how one gets rid of that feeling. He's going through all the stages of grief. All I know is that it's pointless. <laughs> Not it's a cab, like, uh, but that's also the face of a Greek bite. god. Please. The more you force it. Nick, are you getting poetic on me now? If that doesn't make you smile, <laughs> I don't know what will. Asshole. <laughs> Adam is kind of fine. I knew it was coming. I knew. I knew y'all were going to start thirsting. I knew it. I was just waiting. I was like, let's see how soon somebody going to say Adam is fine. Let's see how soon somebody going to say somebody's fine. You know? Jesus. <laughs> Dangerously aroused. What's up, Yan? What's up, Strange? What the heck is going on? Oh, that's his mom. That has to be his mom. The uh, Ed's mom. So did all of this happen on this, at the same bridge? And it's like, why are you crying? Was Ed's mom and the cop? I smell I smell it I smell an affair too. Thank you for the roses. <laughs> Adam. I appreciate it. Thank you so much for the gifts. How are you getting poetic with me? <gasps> you asshole. And where did he get that big ass scar on his face? Y'all see that? Cause back in the day he didn't have that. I wonder if that's part of the story too. Oh, there's a lot. There's a lot here, y'all. Okay. Drama. Not is he the pappy? <laughs> All right. Now we got some mess, finally. Mm -mm -mm. Do I, can I walk? Yes, I can. What's in there? Uh, looks like a bottle of liquor. You don't like how quiet this is? The game has been fairly quiet. Son of a bitch. Cause like even when um. Okay. Even when I was in the barn that last time, they didn't really play no music. I hated that too. Cause I do hate like how quiet the game is in general Ooh. my blicky is on the dresser <laughs> song of the summer <laughs> leash got her mojo back and she's here for the mess i guess i guess so Adam. Tell Harley to call forensics. We've got work for them. Oh, that was quick. <laughs> it 
It's like a soap opera. I'm so invested. I need more clues. Right. I'm the type. I used to be the type of person like when I was younger uh so like when the like if i was reading a book and it was getting like real juicy i used to read like the last page no and ruin it for myself it's too early john i don't do you even <laughs> listen to me when i talk oh god next week oh, here we go again next week there's no traffic now you know how it gets if we don't leave used to be like sunrise, that too kai we don't get there until lunchtime I mean, honestly. <sighs> Next week, we should leave at a reasonable time. The kids need their rest. You're saying that as if I didn't care. Not again, please. Oh my goodness. I'm their father. Are you saying I don't care? No one said that, John. I want to see what no the, the baby sister look like. So that way we can see who's the pappy. You're not going to win this fight. It's over. Oh, go green, not divorce court. Too, but my thing is like why he didn't save the baby he couldn't hold two of his he ain't he ain't that strong of a man he couldn't hold both his kids oh i can't what the what the fuck <laughs> oh lord jesus damn why am i telling you It's important, Ed. Mm -mm. <laughs> Y'all think she good? Well, apparently she, the, the mom died too. <sighs> it's not just the money, is it? You shrinks are all addicted to other people's pain. Oh no. <sighs> you get off on it. Tell me about your father about his see case in point hmm. please oh i wonder if the baby was really there though since he just carried the one kid true but the the the, the boyfriend patient i don't know if that's her boyfriend or her patient was saying basically you know the wife did have the, the 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 child, so I don't know. Aunt Claire really loves you, huh? I if have no idea. If she brought me all those books, I would have never left my room. What about the birthday cake she's making for you, huh? Come on. Let's see if you remember the ingredients we have to buy. Okay. <laughs> I'll say one, and then you say one. Baking powder? Eggs. No. Flour. Yes. Oh. Butter. No. What is going on? Molasses. Yes.
please don't tell me really you couldn't take your you couldn't take your child to the damn aunt's house first oh dear heavens Not is this part of the recipe, Doctor BT? Please. <sighs> Y'all are so. You really gave up during the cake list, please. <laughs> Y'all are so terrible. I've held up my side of the bargain. Not the reaction I would Somebody expect from him, right? Exhausted from all that listening. Damn. So, sandwich before going back home? Hmm. Nope. We about to hypnotize you. You know, um, you do know that what you told me is not how things really happened, right? I knew it! <laughs> Addicts. <sighs> that wasn't enough for you? You need a double dose. I'm still sick of him being shirtless. <laughs> He's in his own house, Swalge. Damn. Look at spiral, please. Hmm. <laughs> um, you got me out of the hospital. You're a friend of Robert's, but <laughs> you've just used up the last favor. Here's a douchebag. <laughs> so, next ones. Sandwich, car, road, <laughs> bed. Got it? <laughs> I'm not going anywhere until you're better. Damn it. You're nine. Your parents woke you up in the middle of the night to go on a trip. You fell asleep in the car. Your sister is next to you. You hear your parents and gradually you wake up. I'm... I, I, uh, My goodness. No. You don't like the way his feet look. You have several plastic figurines. Can you describe them to me? They're... They... Are from... Please, no. No. Uh-oh. So Wait, we're about to I learn know. the truth. Oh, oops. No. Wake up. No. Wake up. No. <laughs> Wake up. Wake up. Jesus, how long was that going to go on? Wake up. No. Wake up. No. Damn. Damn it. I can't do this anymore, John. I can't. Do you even listen to me when I talk? Next week. What did you promise me, hmm? Next week. For richer, for poor, in sickness. Oh, she was going to leave him. No, death fucking do us part. God damn it. Next week. I'm taking the kids, and I'm leaving. Yes! Who are you to be with him. Head? Am I right? Oh! Not again, please. With Ginny's father. Oh! Do you seriously think everyone know about that? That I don't know who he is? Y'all, yeah. we piecing it together ourselves. Everybody, John. 
Nobody. You're not gonna tear this family apart. Mm-mm. Oh my goodness. Why would she give him a heads up? I'll tear it apart first. Oh no. Mm. That, that raggedy ass man. So that's why he only got the sun out because he knew that the sun was actually his. That makes sense. That's crazy. Do you know why your mom decided to have Jenny? I don't get it. She was just a little seed. Mm -hmm. Do you go from San Francisco to Cerro Lake? every weekend mainly in the summertime the house in san francisco is really small and dad says his imagination doesn't fit inside so it ends up jumping out the window especially now that they've turned his office into jenny's room right hmm mm -hmm. Eh. before you said your mother winked at you at that point but actually she only looked at you why? She would do that sometimes. Why did you forget the last look she gave you, Ed? I don't know. It's not my fault. I didn't do anything. <laughs> okay. So now we gotta go to this one. We gotta relive this again. He put, I bet he pushed the car, didn't he? It wouldn't surprise me if he pushed the car. Oh, raggedy ass. He pushed it. Yup. This is wild and out of this world. Definitely, definitely. Did you hurt your collarbone? The doctor will say the seatbelt saved me, but it burnt my skin. Mm, secondary. Is there anything over here? She's asleep, isn't she? You know she's not, Eddie. <laughs> that was kind of mean, but I mean... She's crying. Jenny's crying. Is she okay? That baby, that baby... That baby is that cop's baby. <laughs> Y'all look at this baby. Yeah. That baby. You know she's not, Eddie. Before, you told me a blowout caused the accident. Yep. But you didn't hear anything, did you, Ed? That's what Dad will tell the police. Of course. Tire blowout. Uh... So I got everything there. This is the other part I gotta do. Oh my goodness.
Do you still have that figurine? I'll lose it. Okay, so I did all the secondary stuff. Will your father keep drinking from that day until his last? Aunt Claire won't let him. Aunt Claire? She'll come from San Bernardino to take care of us. Okay, we're done with that one. I think we got one more memory. Um. No. What happened to the memory? I guess we're done. The therapist is cold, but she's real. I didn't want to, like, you know, be like, oh, she's okay. Like, no, they're not okay. <laughs> they're not here, so. Now I get why the sheriff, the sheriff hates Ed. He probably sees his father in him. Probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 what happened? Ed. Oh, damn. Can I, would it be too brutal to tell him the truth? Or should I just like, you know, wait until I got more like, you know what? I'm gonna tell him the truth. All right, you have to know the truth. Your father did something that. Right, yeah, let me, uh, I had to tell the truth. He can't go on around thinking his dad was like a good dude. You can't go in there. What did you do, Miller? Sheriff Reyes. That's me. What the hell did you do? Dr. Lomas? That's me. Oh, uh, sorry. I, uh, should, um, I have to talk to Mr. Miller. Could you wait outside just a minute? I'm sorry to inconvenience you, but... Uh... Mr. Miller is my patient, and we're in the middle of a session. You're the one who's going to wait outside. Exactly that. I understand your predicament, Doctor. But it's serious. I wouldn't be asking you if... I understand your predicament as well. But can you wait? You barged into my patient's room without permission. What's so urgent? Uh... Do you have a warrant explaining why? I know this might seem, uh, irregular, but, uh, if I could just... I don't care what it looks like. But you are going to have to wait outside the room. Exactly that. Doctor. Please. Dr. Lomas. I'll take care of this. Please. Not the law. <laughs> the law is the law. Uh. Did she tell him about her? It didn't. It shouldn't have took her that long to tell her him about her father. Or her, whatever. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. What the hell? Insufferable. You don't like me. I don't like you. Let's get to the point. <laughs> okay, Miller. 27 years ago, on Brody Canyon Bridge, your family... No. No, no. No. And now the exact same thing happens. And I'm supposed to believe it? Hmm. We searched the car. No sign of a certain Fay or a baby. <laughs> the police academy isn't what it used to be. Go visit me. I'm sure you have their pictures on your phone, right? 
It was the first freaking thing I checked when I woke up. All deleted. Sure. Describe <sighs> it. We're going to go with ethnicity. Ethnicity? Caucasian. Very fair skin. Height. Height. Uh, average. Five foot eight. Five eight is not average. Five eight is technically on the tall side. Eye color white, green. Blonde, brunette. <laughs> Practically silver. Shoulder length, straight. So, how did it all happen? Here we go again. I see what chat means about Ed's feet now. <laughs> Faye woke me up. Jenny had a slight fever. Jenny? My daughter. Ain't that his sister's name? Jenny. Oh, Got Swalsh. I meant for, uh, for a woman. Got in the car, and that's it. That's it. I told you, I don't remember. Amnesia. Mm. Comes in handy sometimes, doesn't it? I suppose you know they <laughs> ran some tests when you got to the hospital. Huh. Enlighten me. What did they find? I'm just playing, Swalsh. I'm just playing. Please. <laughs> oh, God. Swalsh is going to leave and never come back. <laughs> I'd be so sad. Uh, What did they find? We found alcohol in the car. Alcohol. Yeah, right. <laughs> well, according to the truck driver who saved you, you reeked of booze. I hate this stuff. Can't even stand the smell. Mm, even an eight. Didn't he have a glass of wine? Special reserve. He's thinking his accident was the one with his mama and sister. That's what it seems like. Said at thieves. <laughs> Do I look like someone who has trouble sleeping? I've been in bed for a week. <laughs> Antipsychotics. I doubt that. Does Advil count? It takes a lot of guts to commit suicide. Or maybe it, it takes the opposite. If that truck driver hadn't showed up, would you have done it? No, I was getting down from the railing when he knocked me on the ground. Had you met him before? The the truck driver? What are you suggesting? <laughs> you had me confused for a minute there, Sheriff. All right, now I'm getting back confused. I thought, how is this guy who's been out to get me since forever the only one who seems to believe Faye exists? But I get it now. I stopped counting the amount of times you pulled me over for a breath test. Now you finally have an excuse. You want to lock me up for a damn DUI? And if you can also peg involuntary manslaughter on me, all hail the sheriff. <laughs> involuntary manslaughter? You're going to have a hard time proving anything else. We'll see about that. You are good friends with the Franklins, aren't you? What? What have they got to do with any of this? Uh, let's see. Do you and Samuel Franklin go fishing a lot? Is that a crime? Huh. You barely have any friends. Him, I'd say he had what? None? <laughs> I don't know. A few years ago, I went for a walk in the woods. He was fishing. I spooked his fish. He ended up showing me the ropes. We go down to the river every once in a while now. Or he just stops by when he's bored. Just your average boy meets old guy story. Sorry, you're a grown man. Uh... How do you get along with Esther Franklin? We were close when I was a kid, but... That ended when I went to San Bernardino with Aunt Claire. When I came back about nine years ago, we started to reconnect. Is Esther Franklin? She cares about me for some reason. 
I guess Esther, okay. Do you have a gun permit? I'm a writer. The pen is mightier than the sword and all that crap. Then... Y'all, like okay, hold on. Glove compartment, huh? What are you talking about? Are you messing with the little sanity I have left? <sighs> all right. That's it. What's I think I get it, on? but I could be wrong. I feel like there's going to be a big old Franklin's twist at the missing. end. Samuel Franklin died from a bullet to the head. Yep. The he, same day, you almost killed him. I feel like he probably kidnapped Esther through something. I guess he was like, you know, out of it. No. <sighs> uh-huh. But it no. could, I mean, we don't know. It's, I don't know. No. That's just my no. guess. Damn. There's definitely going to be a twist somewhere. I can't wait to find out. Listen, get Miller's fingerprints unofficially. Well, Unofficially, not me being a dirty, dirty cop. Looks like he wasn't lying about this. Oh my goodness. Let's do crime. No. If Miller has seen any detective movies, He'll know what I'm trying to do, especially being a writer. Oh, well, I guess. So I'm just going to have to, you know, steal. <sighs> Too risky. No. He's right there. Can we really... Doesn't look like he's going anywhere. Can we really count on him being like, look at him. Like, we're literally walking around his bed. That's my phone. Too many people have touched it. And Miller's probably the only one who hasn't. Hmm. It has to be something by his bed because he can't even get out of bed. Do I have to calm this joker down? Damn. Miller. What am I, Sheriff? A lunatic? <gasps> A murderer? You're or something. We're not ruling out that you could be both. <laughs> what about Esther? We have to find her. A search party is all set for this afternoon. We'll find her. And I can't even help. Fucking vertigo. Hmm. <sighs> what if I handed it to him? With some excuse. To look at something. Maybe a picture of this fake. What did he say she looked like? Blonde green eyes. I hope did I get that right? Was was it blonde green eyes? You're just gonna get a generic picture of a white woman with blonde hair and green eyes. I mean, that's kind of smart. Ooh. Blonde with green eyes sounds like There's his mama. Mm -hmm. I want you, to see. you think so? I hope I got it right. <laughs> and he wiped it off. This was just sent to me. She was seen around the park. Is it Faye? She was blonde and had green eyes, but no. Zoom in. Look at the details. Maybe he is so, so bad at deception or something. Uh, no. Sorry, but no. <sighs> hey, Sheriff. 
A fake nose. Find Esther. By the way, we found your cap in the ravine. What cap? The one with the stars and stripes. No. <sighs> oh my goodness gracious. I just really want to know what the heck happens. How long is this game? <laughs> I, I just want to know. But I'm going to be patient. He will get Please dragged stop. in court. Thanks for... For what you did before. Oh, would you look at that? For confronting the sheriff. I'm gonna be nice. Are you all right? You know I'm not. Please help me. I just know it smells musty in there. <laughs> How musty y'all think it smells when in there? When the sheriff walked in, <laughs> you were about to tell me something. <laughs> I'm still missing a piece of the puzzle. Just one. Give me that piece and I'll tell you everything without the fear of hurting. He just you. looked like he had like a little twang, you know, a little a little twang, a little twinge of must for your childhood accident. All days, maybe weeks earlier. If that's what I think it is. Something. <laughs> no shower kind of must eaten. About your mother or the other way around. Something that made you take sides. <laughs> ah. Um, I think I might have something for you. Um, I, I think, yeah, it was the weekend before the accident. I was completely obsessed with this sea shanty. Oh God, not this. We have to hit up, sit up here and hear him talk about goddamn pirates for another hour. Everybody hold on to your butts. We're going to talk about pirates. Here we go. <laughs> oh lord <laughs> vertigo can't walk without blanket i'm pretty sure his aunt gives him like little you know little bed baths but well, more i feel like without his vertigo he would still be a little musty i had a thing with this verse <laughs> i don't even know why what verse was oh yeah some nice sneakers though okay I really hope this is DMCA approved. <laughs> we're gonna replay, we're gonna bring it back, bring it back! Bring it back! I would play Let's go! Why that particular Maybe because it was Saturday and I got Sundays. <laughs> He was, I feel like in his mind, I feel like he was a nice brother. He wouldn't be mean to his sister. I feel like he'd be a nice brother, but we'll see. Why is he walking like that? What is going on? Special Agent Miller. Oh, here I have we an go. Extremely important mission for you. Dad, I was about to check on Jenny. Relax, Agent Miller. The First Lady's on it. As you may well know, so we're in the midst of a cold war with our worst enemy. 
The thousand sucker kraken. Forget those fantasies, Miller. This is serious. Oh, I'm no. talking about the darn KGB. Huh? Several of their agents have placed three nuclear bombs in one of our top secret submarine bases. I don't want to do this. Can we get to the point? I'm tired. <laughs> Well, you can tackle this mission, sir. Good point, Miller. You're such a darn genius, Miller. You'll make a fine major. Hmm, where was I? Ah, yes. A super dangerous mission. Only an agent with my experience <laughs> and training can succeed under these circumstances. Maya, please! Didn't you say you had a mission for me? And I do, Special Agent Miller. And that it was super important? And it is, Special Agent Miller. How important do you think it is to protect the First Lady? Extremely important, sir. I couldn't have said it better myself. Did I say major? Miller, you'll make a fine colonel. Nothing is more important than the first lady. And who are we protecting her from, sir? That's what we need to find out. Precisely that. There's a double agent among us. A traitor. Is he talking about the baby? <sighs> well, I'm away on my mission at the top secret submarine base, and I deactivate one, two, even three bombs. You will become the First Lady Shadow. Follow her wherever she goes, but keep a low profile. I wish Make sure to document any suspicious activity that might help us identify. So the he wants and us remember, to catch our mom cheating. Be someone close. To the First Lady. Sir, yes, sir. Good luck. Future Colonel Miller. That's exactly what this in is. Hands. Is. <laughs> Exposed. The I ain't go. Oh Lord. Y'all. He's like, I'm going out of town. Make sure you check on check to see what your mama doing. All right, that's exactly what that is. Where's the other one? It's okay, sweetie. Lieutenant Flanagan, do you copy? Do you have a visual of the presidential suite? Loud and clear, sir. Good. Let me know when she exits and heads towards the conference center. I can't risk her seeing me. <gasps> Darn it, Flanagan. I told you to inform me if she left the presidential suite. Oh, did she leave? Oh, poor baby. Really had to use his imagination to cope with the fact that his She's father is terrible. Mom follow her and hide and his mom is emotionally absent because of you know his terrible father oh god can i go in other rooms i have to follow i have to follow her what about let's check on the baby oh nope i have to go downstairs <laughs> claire how are you no your brother just left to get groceries Oh, she's just precious. Yes, she gets plenty of air. I'm making dinner now, but in about 15 minutes, I'll, I'll take her outside and we'll go to the lookout by the lake. Yes, the lake that's by my house. This seems healthy. How would that be dangerous? Don't worry, I won't let her get close to the railing. We'll just sit on a bench. Okay. I'll definitely tell him you called when he gets back. Um, is that the sister or the grandma? Jesus. Mm. Flanagan, I told you to search the presidential suite for microphones, didn't I? And sister, so I did, sir. But there weren't any. Do me a favor. 
schedule an appointment with the CIA eye doctor, will you? Yes, sir. For who? Just do it. I have a feeling things are about to get dirty around here. Oh, it's a dirty diaper. Oh. Oh, so the double agent's the baby? I knew it! <laughs> Jesus Christ. S snoop around. I learned really quickly to never snoop around your parents, anything in their room, because you're going to find something that's going to traumatize you for the rest of your life. There's still something missing. Oh my goodness. Uh, what's over here? <coughs> oh shit. <coughs> Jesus. Oh. Them at a happier time. Is there anything? What else am I missing? Take pictures, try to blend in, follow her at a safe distance. Okay. So I think I got everything that I needed in here. Jenny! <gasps> no! My little sweet pea. Does she? Does she? For, did she forget that she had a son? Why did? She, why is she taking the son? Who wants to go see the lake views? Come on. How come she's not taking the son to the lake? I feel kind of bad for Ed. You'll see. It's such a beautiful day out there. And when we get back, you'll have your bottle. Like both of his parents ain't shit. Jesus. Not maybe. Oh, I scheduled that appointment with the eye doctor. Um, okay. All right, good Flanken. Yeah, always glad to help, sir. Not the sharpest tool in the shed. I swear, oh, I don't know why certain people are even born. Oh my goodness. It's like, damn. Is there anything else in here that I could use? Huh. Just like I figured. He has decoded an enemy message. Clever spy Miller smells something. Proceed with plan with extreme caution. Lucky for us, this one wasn't written. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Lord. Not dug out in a salon chair. You know, my parents are old. The enemy's letters to the so the, the stuff that I found. But not even our supercomputer can decipher. It's very much way. tame, I feel. Yeah. Definitely, definitely. <laughs> oh my goodness! John A! Thank you so much for becoming a half a half all or half and a member. I appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Should, so should I go out the back door? That scared me. I'm not used to the alerts on, on YouTube. So. <laughs> All right. Time to go to the presidential you gardens. First lady, sir? Not yet. I need my camo helmet first, but I can't find it. Oh, I washed it for you, sir. I left it in the hangar. By the tanks and motorcycles. Left it on a what? Oh my goodness. So I need a hat? Oh, here it goes. Flawless design brought to you by our chief engineer, Captain. You're right, Samuel. the mom's already gone. Although, why is there no jungle camouflage on my jungle camouflage helmet, Flanagan? I removed it, sir. 
It was not aerodynamic, sir. <sighs> Please don't have me get on the bike. And if I do have to get on the bike, please don't make me have to like actually. Okay. I was about to say, please don't let this be Martha's dad again. <laughs> Another great that was not a fun experience. Chief engineer, Captain Samuel Franklin. Samuel Franklin? Samuel Franklin? Ain't that the, the, ain't Samuel Franklin the neighbor dude? Or am I tripping? Any updates on the first lady's position fine again? She crossed the yellow flowers track and she's now in the lookout. The yellow flowers track? Also, welcome in if you are on, on TikTok. Make yourselves at home. Mm -mm -mm. So that was his name was. So so they were were they around the same age? I feel like Samuel Franklin seemed older, but he did say that uh. Him and the 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 wife grew up together, so I'm confused. Oh my goodness, he is such a goofy goober. Little goofy goober. No way. Yes, sir. The double agent is manipulating the first lady. She's setting us up. What's up, Allie? She stole a microchip from my safe and is accusing me of leaving it for the KGB to find, and the First Lady's buying it. Now, if that's not suspicious activity. Was that the picture I was supposed to take? I thought we, what's up, Mac? I thought we was getting some drama. I thought the cop dude was going to come to the house or something. <clears throat> but you you know what? This is all made up in his mind. So something... There's something else going on. That's all, I guess. Hmm. Shall we? Oh, my goodness. All right, let's unpack all of that. You just played this last week. Oh, okay. The game is honestly, I, it's not as old as I thought it was or whatever. It came out what in 2021 or 2018, one of them, one of them years. So, and it, but it doesn't it, like, I really haven't seen like any reviews or anything on it. I just stumbled upon it on steam. So. But so far, so good. Yeah, they were arguing. Oh my goodness, y'all. Poor baby. <sighs> Lieutenant Flanagan, we have a new mission. A KGB agent has infiltrated the presidential... So his dad didn't even come into the room. To drive a wedge between the president and the first lady, putting an end to a vital, long-standing alliance. But we won't let the KGB get away with it. We'll unmask the traitor and save our nation. 
Oh. <laughs> he didn't like his younger sister. He f I oh 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 shit. <laughs> oh damn. Yep, he's blaming the baby. Well, <sighs> Christ. Okay. There's something else in here. You weren't obsessed with an entire verse, were you? Only with one sentence. Leave her, Johnny. Leave her. Maybe. I know you found the missing figurine after all. Mom will give it to me later. That would explain why he kept saying Jenny. She'll be a bit angry. Uh. Oh boy. What's up, pranking? I can't see your whole name. How you doing? Um. Why don't you trust your sister, Jenny? Because she takes up all of mom's attention. And then she can't be with me or with dad. And then dad gets mad. Well, I mean, he has a point there because the mom definitely didn't take him to the lake. She only took the baby. So, did I do everything I did? I mean, she's like one. Yeah, but if you take it one child to the lake, you can take the other child to the lake. <laughs> After he's here and all this arguing and fighting and fussing. Y'all kids know when they're being neglected for the most part. I oh 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 I knew it! We knew it! We knew it! Oh my, ah! that's his baby. He's the baby's pappy. And he took a picture. Oh my goodness. He took a picture of the both of them and oh my God. <gasps> Woo. Don't, don't wonder why she didn't take the son to the lake. Caught. He gonna take that picture and put it on his dad desk. Dude, what the? Ah! It's funny because this is called treason. What did you think when the police officer arrived, Eddie? That he was going to arrest someone for misbehaving. <laughs> he was going to arrest someone tonight. <laughs> he was going to arrest someone. Oh, shoot. <laughs> he was going to arrest your mom. <laughs> yeah. Or I, I don't know. Should he arrest himself? Please. Um, what else I gotta look at? I'm missing something. Or am I? Oh, yeah. Why are you taking those pictures, <laughs> Ed? Because things just used to be better. All right, so deception, disgrace. What did you think right there 
Eddie. That Jenny isn't bad. It's the police officer that's bad. Asked, okay. How did Jenny get a hold of that figurine? Sometimes dad sleeps in mom and dad's room in the morning or in the afternoon. And mom comes and changes Jenny's diaper on my bed. So I go outside to play. What? All right, we're done. As plain as the scar, as plain as the scar, as plain as the scar, not as plain as the scar on his face, please. <laughs> no, no. Oh God. I mean, he's a neglected and abused kid. Makes sense. He'd see this as what? his mom abandoning him. Mm -hmm. It can't be that bad. So, you are going to tell me now, right? Your daddy is a moiterer. He moiters. You've been repressing and twisting your own memories since. Your father was not the person you remember. He was definitely not. At some point, um when you were little he became obsessed <laughs> he got lost he started drinking you see about that one thing about that apple but it was not even an apple in the tree moment it's definitely like he definitely tra trauma definitely trauma His mama probably came back from being with the police officer that day. Goodness. We piece together all the puzzle. did I do it? Jenny. Plenty of older brothers feel jealous of their siblings. It's normal. It would have passed. It was all my fault. No, it wasn't. The picture. If I hadn't... The same thing would have happened. And just in a different way, later, yep. Your dad would have found out. Mm -hmm. And instead of an accident, it would have been a slap, or a beating, or a push, or a knife. And what good does knowing do me? You've been carrying that guilt for years, building a prison of fake memories just to hide it from yourself, Aww. from everyone. And it's been gnawing at you, but you need to let it go. So what are we, we're still missing something. He did something. Oh, Whew. almost didn't make it.
Let's go, Ed. Wait, hold on. Is he about to jump out the window? <laughs> well, he didn't jump out the window. That's good. <laughs> Listen, I thought that might have been the case here. All right. He just screamed a little scream. Ooh. <sighs> Let's check the messages. Not today. Let's just do it. I'm nosy. You know what? We gonna reply. Leave me alone. You already know who it is. Not him. Him texting from a fake number. <laughs> oh, Ed, you're the most loyal person I've ever met. Doctor, it's Sheriff Reyes. Okay. Buster Flanagan. <clears throat> Doctor, sorry to bother you this late, but... Were you the one texting me? I sent you a few messages on the way, but... Uh... Ah, it was you. Are you feeling all right, Sheriff? It's late, I know. We were looking for Esther Franklin until just now. Did you find anything? There's still hope. I'm, I'm so I, about this morning. And oh you know no. I don't want to put your career on the line. So I gotta get her to trust me. Oh. Oh, I don't know which one to choose, y'all. Or, I mean, does it really matter? I feel like this is a game where, you know, it's very linear. Let's just go with this one. I've got to exhaust all my options to get to Esther Franklin. There's a really pretty lookout near here. Whoa, what the hell? And then I gotta convince... We could discuss this. I gotta convince the cop that Ed is innocent. And then I gotta convince... I'm telling you, he's The doctor... News. The gun, Look, that is too much. Bottle, <laughs> his connection to the Franklins. The whole implausible story about the... <clears throat> I don't like this. You know what? Whatever. <clears throat> It's like I'm playing against myself. I don't like that. Like I was saying, there are too many signs, huh? I'm not saying he's guilty. It's just... It's hard to see it any other way. Yeah, this is don't rough. Think, There's one just like it. She has on that eyeshadow 24-7. <laughs> I can't say I'm a movie buff myself. What am I looking for? Mm. Where's the one about, you know, where's the one about slavery? <laughs> <laughs> We got the birth of the tree. We got the Battle of Hastings, Magna Carta, 
Columbus sails to America. So in between, in between here and here, we're missing something. <laughs> uh, anyway, <laughs> we even got 9-11 on here. Hello, let's just do the birth of the damn tree. <laughs> it's amazing to think the tree was born here. That it died here and that we've only been here about this much. Um, I don't, let's, I don't know what I want to talk about. Let's talk about the moon landing. I was born about here. <laughs> you? About the same. Oh, so she was born in 69? Here. No, a year later. I was at a protest march. The police charged us. I fell. Uh, L.A., right? Did they crush you? Three knee operations. What were you doing at the time? I don't know. Patrol during the day to make a buck. Study at night to be a sheriff. What were you doing that day? Do you remember? <sighs> sure. I woke up at 6.30, like I do every day. Turn on the radio <laughs> while I shaved and uh, the second plane had just hit. I remember looking in the mirror, not recognizing myself, not my face, my hands, my bathroom, none of it. I took care of people with similar symptoms during those weeks. And this is when your baby was born. 2016. <laughs> I became sheriff. Congratulations. I had no idea what I was getting myself into. 2016. All right. I didn't know what I was getting myself into. You remember either. being two months old. Did Swash, you please. Sheriff too? <laughs> I fell in love. Ah, <laughs> damn. Of course. <gasps> Sorry. Just make I me feel this. old. I know Miller is hiding something. He's lying. To lie, you have to be aware that you're lying. Nice one. But Miller knows exactly what he's doing. He only has trouble remembering certain things. Things that you do remember. I, I, I don't understand. Uh... You know, we're just gonna be like, tell me about Maddie Miller police officer man tell me about maddie miller please I, 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 excuse me yeah about your relationship with her. yeah in the early 90s you did a little more than just work and study lay it on them yep <laughs> he has to go sit down <laughs> Oh God. Oh my goodness. Yep, just that we had to rip off the band-aid. I never told anybody. Maybe it's time. Maybe it's time you talked about it. We were inseparable as kids. I spent oh, they grew up together. House, the one you've been to, than my own. In high school, <laughs> everyone thought we were dating. <laughs> then she went to school in San Francisco. We'd meet up some weekends, until one summer, she came back arm in arm with John Miller. Mm. We didn't see each other for years. It would have been five or six when we ran into each other and uh, started meeting. A coffee, a walk, started dinner, meeting. a motel, mm -hmm. pregnant with Jenny. She distanced herself from me. I thought the girl had helped her marriage. That she was happy. F 
fucking happiness. Oh, get Maddie back? Now we have to we have to cheat? What is going on? We have to break up a home? It ain't happy. But shoot. She's a beautiful girl. Isn't she? Beautiful and a bottomless pit. You'd gobble your mummy right up, wouldn't you? Thanks for coming after all this time. How have you been? I've really missed you. I'm sorry. I didn't want Jenny to grow up in a broken home. <gasps> or Eddie. They gobbled her, her up too. Please, Dr. VT. I was willing to give you anything you needed. Anything you needed. And I what still what earrings? We could start another family. I failed. I felt guilty. I don't think I failed. I think this game is extremely linear. I thought the baby. I was wrong. What's wrong with the earrings? Is he still drinking? He's burying me alive. What did he do? If he touched a single hair. Nah, might as well say it. Because the other two answers. A single hair on your head. The other two answers were kind of uh, whack. I'm going to leave him. Yes! I, I'm going to tell him next week. Don't tell him anything. Get the kids, pack your bags, leave a note, and go. I have to tell him. No, you don't. I just, just take his son away from him without at least. Mm. Jenny is yours. Take her. Oh. Oh, oh, stanky baby. It's just a baby. The baby don't know nothing. She's got something in her hand. Oh, get it, will you? Gently. This is too cute. Not her lack of upper lip is scaring me. Wow. <laughs> Not teeth. If you don't just yank that thing out that baby hand. <laughs> Lord. Already, he leaves stuff everywhere. See? She has your eyes. And he... doesn't suspect anything? Since the very beginning. How do you know she's not... John's? You've never tried to sleep with someone after you've downed a bottle of whiskey, have you? <laughs> well, <laughs> not her talk about whiskey oh, diggling. Sammy. You're ready for water after. I know that beer. joke. <laughs> oh, Lord. Come with me. The three of you. <laughs> Let's take it slowly. Oh, my goodness. I can't risk custody. <laughs> now his eyes are blue was the last time I saw them alive oh my god now she got Is the light skin stare I wanted to kill that son of a bitch but he took that away from me too damn What's going on? 
Why he got a ring? He was about to propose. Oh, oh. <sighs> let's just let's just have a drink. Oh, there's nothing left. I know that feeling. Mm-hmm. Oh, is oh. yeah. We definitely this weekend we have to keep it very light. After I beat Bramble, I'm playing nothing but fun stuff because I'm tired. <laughs> Cause what the hell, man? <laughs> Lord, I guess we're about to. Nick, no. <sighs> Well, we see how he got the scar on his face. What went through your mind in that moment? Damn. Why did you move it away? <laughs> hmm, that's something I could only tell my psychiatrist. Thanks. Now, you understand? John Miller was dangerous. His son is too. The same look in his eye. You don't be taking it out on a baby. I'm worried. Well, not he's not a baby. He's a grown man. <laughs> he's a grown man. But still, it's like you're you're judging him based off of what his father did, and it might be the case. That look in his eyes you mentioned. But... What psychology manual is that in? I can't quite place it. <sighs> Sorry. I didn't mean to. I just meant... Hold on. Ah, he's my baby, You'll Johnny. <laughs> About what? Faye. Yes. <laughs> no. You're certain Faye isn't a figment of a writer's... Uh, a psychopath's imagination? I'm not interfering in your job, Sheriff. Don't interfere in mine. Throughout my career, I've met a great deal of psychopaths. Mm. And believe me, when I know someone, I really know them. If there is a psychopath in this story, it's not Ed Miller. Yeah, well, yep. It's like you can't, because we, even though it might be, you know, Ed might be the reason why all this weird stuff is happening. At the same time, like, he's basically basing it off of the stuff that his dad did. Which is, like, I guess a good... It's not, like... I understand why he's coming up with that conclusion. But you can also tell, like, he's very salty about the dad. And he's taking it out on Ed. So, and... Ed, what is this? I'm confused. Are we at another part? Right, we also know Ed is a terrible narrator, so we don't know what to believe. Exactly. stranger that was in her are you kidding me i don't want to do this So he wasn't lying. And I knew something was about her was a little crazy. Oh, that looks like it hurts a lot, Faye. Come in and I'll put some ice on you. <laughs> oh. 
everybody in this yeah. game a little a little a little a little crazy it's a you know everybody's got something how come you didn't call an ambulance Faye? i tried to but my battery died so confused she looks crazy in every single one of them we'll do three hmm. look at poor Faye trying to smile despite the pain what kind of maniac wouldn't feel sorry for her teeth teeth <laughs> get to his house all right how are we gonna get to his house oh there we go can you focus on that thank you i don't think she's jenny because if if she first of all hold on i don't think she's jenny but if she is jenny i'm turning off the game and i'm giving this game a terrible review because i am not playing 12 minutes 2.0 <laughs> if you know you know if i swear i swear to god i swear this better not be jenny but i don't think she's jenny but <laughs> listen i'm not playing no y'all know how i feel about these topics <laughs> Lord, she do got blue eyes. Her eyes are green. She did this right in front of his house. I'm not getting caught up this time, not taking any chances. <laughs> what was the quote? You know, sometimes, you know, it's wait, what was it? It may be. <laughs> It may be the hundredth kiss for him, but it's always the first for her or something like that. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> oh Lord, what if they're contacts? Oh Lord have mercy. <laughs> the exact quote can't have anything nice in the world <laughs> yeah but Swalsh, to be honest and to be fair we were all taking a, a taken aback because yeah that was a lot <laughs> that was a lot they did us dirty 12 minutes did us dirty you hear me i still have beef with annapurna Memorize his dining room. What the hell? Oh, what in the world? I am playing a criminal. What am I missing? Oh. She's about to steal. Let's steal. Why are you looking at me that way? Because Kitty? he knows something wrong with you. And all I'm the enemy, huh? Y'all see those choices? Y'all see those choices? Whoa. Ah. Mm -hmm. 
grab you by the tail. You know what? I will say squeeze you to death because that's why I, I, I tell my cats that. But it's because they're so stinking cute, you know? So I'm going to choose the tamer option. <laughs> Not yet. But one day, kitty. <sighs> Mr. Mysterious, you there? Have you eaten? Is this why the cat is missing? Mm-hmm. You can order something online. Something? My favorite. There might even be leftovers in the fridge. Something left over? Even better. <laughs> I'll check the fridge. Don't order anything, okay? Now we must go memorize his kitchen. But wait, she doesn't have her phone. Oh, she has more than one phone. Clever, clever girl. She could at least turn off like the camera sounds, you know. Turn off the shutter, ma'am. I have a Siamese cat too. Boo around here somewhere. It's funny because Boo will sit by me all day, but when I stream, he will not sit by me. He must know something. He must know I'll make him uh put him in the video for content. One out of five on my list of things to make sure he delivers. But I'll need a more secure base of operations. Um, hold on. What else? Make sure he delivers. Looks sexy for him. Find photos of his family. Make sure he delivers. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's what she said. Deliver. Deliver what? Did I go outside? No. All right. Let's, um... Let's see here. <laughs> mm, <sighs> this wine is delicious. Abolish the prison Plus, system, but right to out loud, but right to jail right away. All my blood flow down into a certain part of my body. Hello, she's who the hell is Eddie? Oh, that's oh Eddie is Ed. What? She is a nasty little skank. Oh my goodness. I hope we don't have to sit through her singing again. That's one thing I'm I'm I don't want. I don't want to deal with that. Emilio Salgari, the son of the Red Corsair. <laughs> Emilio Salgari, the son of the Red Corsair. Emilio Salgari, the son of the Red Corsair. Emilio Salgari, the son of the Red Corsair. So she's never read her, his books. Nice to meet you, Mrs. Miller. You have no idea how inspiring it is to see you in that cheap-ass, slutty little outfit. Mr. Miller, what undertaker did you murder and steal that suit from? Yo! Well, first of all, y'all see that laundry picture in the background? Tell me why I have that picture. I feel like everybody has that picture. They definitely sell it at Target. But yeah, I have that picture. Um, we need, we need Vino. We need, I gotta look. Is the, wait, hold on. Can I go into the, move out the way. Where the heck would she get that shirt? What am I doing? Make sure he delivers. So let me get the, the wine. The wine has to be 
what is this why we why we okay hold on why are we just looking at a spoon is this that type of party y'all what if i told you i have to use the bathroom <laughs> <laughs> i haven't even drank any alcohol i gotta go pee i've been drinking water like crazy okay hold on y'all i will be right back give me a second <laughs> right i'm back i'm back and i got me some more water i'm gonna not be a heathen tonight and drink alcohol but if anything weird happens like if this ends up being jenny i swear i swear to god bro i'm tired i'm tired of incest being the uh uno reverse card in 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 plots and movies and stuff like that shit is anyway <laughs> Let's continue. Let's continue. Oh my goodness. I swear to God. Where do we get the wine? What do you need a spoon for, girl? Oh, the wine's right there. So what the hell do you need a spoon for it? Get down off the table. I mean, I don't want her to I don't want her to beat you up, but Faye, you in the kitchen? Just a minute, Mr. Mysterious. I'm getting changed. If it's Jenny, I'm taking a drink. Same. 
I still have things to do. Oh, so I can't open it. Oh, man. Uh, do you still have things to do? I don't know where the hell this spoon is supposed to go. Uh, I don't see anything. Oh, wait. Just put it right here. Why do I keep putting stuff by the sink? <laughs> oh, wait, hold on. Wine glasses? Wine glasses? All right, one hand in it like a professional. Put it by the sink. And... All right, the wine's next. She's so weird. I bet you could see her lace, please. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna use the corkscrew to open the wine and I'm pretty sure what is she going to put? What's the spoon for? What are you putting in his drink, Heffler? Yeah. The spoon is definitely to mix something in there. And this is why you don't let random strangers into your house. Like... We learn a lesson every day we play games like this, you know? Like, if you don't want to get hurt, don't let strangers into your house. Goodness gracious. Yeah, there's something in the bag. All right. She looking spiffy. Um, there's something else I need. Take out the tablets. Okay. So yeah, you're learning some valuable stuff. <laughs> At least Capiche broadcast. <laughs> This is moving entirely too slow. I feel like I could have just did this all in one go. But you know, video games, they gotta pad it. They gotta pad the game time. That shirt was around her, her waist. No, not the Viagra. <laughs> Y'all, a, per a performance, performance enhancer. Make sure he delivers. Okay. Get him drunk. Wow, get him drunk, seduce him, have the relations, get your things and disappear. All right. Uh. <laughs> Someone looks pleased. Am I? Oh my goodness! A special moment. John A with a Z. Thank you so much uh, for the becoming a half a half or half. <laughs> I guess what is it? A membership? My way. I don't know nothing. Thank you for the membership. I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Also, thank y'all everybody on TikTok. Thank you for the gifts and the shares and the likes. I appreciate it. And thank you for everybody on YouTube for watching this. This mess. I hope, I really hope we don't get a 12 minutes 2.0. I didn't want to drink tonight. But I will consume alcohol. 
<laughs> the son of the black corsair. Emilio Salgari, right? Did he say black? That's supposed to be red. Do you like Ed Miller? You know what? Me and that guy have history. Huh. So, what kind of history? Oh. Hmm. Oh my goodness! Daniel, thank you so much for the membership. I appreciate it. Thank y'all for the love. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> the bad kind. Wait, all we did, all, wait, all that was was a, huh, hmm. That was it. That wasn't very eventful. Um, I'm panning. Oh, there we go. Oh my goodness. Time to dip, apparently time. Time to dip. It was a sad, it was a sad half-hearted hit, please. Oh God, Swalsh. Good times, good times. What? Relax, I've been on the pill for years. Go ahead and rest. Let time take its course. I'm so confused. What are we supposed to be doing? Memorize his bedroom. Memorize his office. Hello, cat. How do I memorize? I guess I got to go back downstairs and get my things so that way I can take pictures. Oh, no. My phone's right here. The phone's out here. There. There we go. She looks dead behind those eyes. Mm-hmm. What is this heifer doing? All right, so we memorized his bedroom. I think we did everything. The only thing less left we have to do is get all the stuff and leave. I do want to look at his phone though. <laughs> Sweetie, the more I get to know you, the surer I am. Okay. No, there's nothing over here. All right, let's let's go. I'm I'm ready. I'm ready. Yeah, let's wrap it up. Time to go. The shore you're about what exactly? Don't worry, sweetie. I'll be back. I promise. Y'all, what? It... Huh? What did you miss? A whole bunch of, whole bunch of craziness. A, a, a very much single white female moment. Let's say I believe you. That Miller is innocent. Where do we go from here? And what other leads do we have? Hmm? Let's find out if Faye really exists. 
Aura existed. I have the date she appeared and the name of the agency she may have rented a car from. Sound good? I love her Aren't voice. you not going to interfere with my work? Are they flirting? Thanks for the night out. Sheriff. Is this flirting? Thanks for the night out, doctor. Y'all, does this look like flirting? <laughs> or am I tripping? Uh-uh, not, oh no, she gone. Her back against the door, folding her arms. Yeah, they flirting. Oh Lord have mercy. I want Reyes and Lomas action. Oh my goodness. <laughs> they gonna get musty, please. Oh my God. Mm. Good morning. How are you doing? Damn. We couldn't get a uh, good morning. <laughs> Claire, are you feeling all right? Do you want? Oh, don't worry about her. Come up. Oh dear. <laughs> no, oh. I just heard about. Kind of therapy we're doing, and that it's not going too bad. <laughs> She's never been a huge fan of shirts. He has on a shirt, Swalsh. Kind of a sore loser, but she'll definitely get over it. Though she <laughs> seems to love you up until now. Did you walk there from your bed by yourself, or did she help you? My aunt? No. I didn't do it alone, though. Oh, oh my goodness, this dramatic music. Uh, uh, that's how you fix things by offering to help me over and over again. Well, I mean, shit, you just fell down. I was just being nice. But. <sighs> She's mad he isn't relying on her help. anymore. Oh, well, yeah. Huh? Do I deserve it? Don't I deserve to rot in jail? Or an insane asylum? Or, or maybe... Maybe I should have jumped off a bridge. Oh my goodness. I'm dangerous. It'd be better for everybody. Now I have to restore his self-confidence. You're not dangerous, Ed. And yes, you deserve all the help I have to offer you. The sheriff thinks I'm a crazy murderer. I don't blame him. Faye, Jenny, Samuel, Esther. Uh... When they searched your car, no bodies were found. They might still be alive. Tell me all about Faye. Even the smallest details could help, all right? Why don't we just get that spiral going and spare us my lies? Yeah, how about we do that? Mm -hmm. That'll be quicker. Excuse me. We need to know what you remember so we can understand 
why you forget. Okay. Here we go. Now we get to no learn a little bit more After about that Faye. one night together, she disappeared like she'd never existed. Hello? I do like his house. Very pretty. No last name, no number, no message, no address. She just cased you. <laughs> Took pictures of your house. Just her Threatened to glass. kill your cat. Mm -hmm. I'm he I'm bet he's nasty. You're gonna love this. I still haven't washed it. Funny, huh? As if it... Blah. Were you expecting her to come back? So she could wash her own dish. <laughs> uh. I wanted to get to know her, but the way she left made things pretty clear. <laughs> but something much better happened. Remember that thing I said about looking out the window? Focusing on something and, and letting my fingers free write? Yes, I believe the day you met Faye, you'd chosen... Mm, a tree. A tree? Uh-huh. Yeah, good memory. At least <laughs> somebody around here doesn't need a spiral to remember things. Starting that day, I made it into a routine. Let's look at the birds. Some days, something interesting would come out of it. Most others, nothing would, but I decided that my next book would be a collection of short stories or vignettes. Oh, there goes the cat. In the style of Bierce or Kafka. New book? How is it coming? I'll tell you later. Show the baby some love. As always, the eagle sent by Zeus to devour Prometheus' liver suppresses its urge to vomit. As much as I believed in the gods, they became unworthy the moment they chained my fate to that of a traitor, he laments. One day I'll spit this bile into Zeus's face, and then at last I'll have earned my punishment. Oh, that was actually that was actually kind of fire. Good. All right, all right. That was actually a little fire, you know. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's a keep little going. over a month ago. <laughs> about a year since uh. Faye's first visit. I thought it was Samuel. We've been playing a lot of chess and we're supposed to pick up a game we started the night before. Night to be six. Night to be six, Sam. You're still screwed. Let's open a door. That's a baby. Big yawn. Speaking of, where are my babies? Oh boy. I need some drama. What's happening? He just walked across the keyboard. Cats would do that. Mine don't. Thank God. I don't have cats that jump on things. Thank the Lord. You know, they must know that they're black. You know, don't get on my counter. Don't get on my desk. And she just came back with a baby. What did you think when you saw her? I didn't think it was her, just someone who looked like her, but it wasn't the case. Her name is Jenny.
She's your daughter. <laughs> it wasn't surprising to you that she had the same name as your sister? Yeah, but it's not an unusual name. And so, <laughs> guess what she told me, Doctor? Uh... She asked you for money? For child support, maybe? Not even close. She said she was sure I was the father. That it would have been unfair not to tell me. That she didn't need my help or my money. But if I recognized her as my daughter, I could be in her life. And if you decide not to, it's fine. We'll leave right now and you'll never see us again. But call us a taxi, please. You didn't call one, did you? That one you got right. And so I looked at Jenny. I guess it goes without saying what? that I've never felt emotional around babies. Uh. And yet I felt something. But uh, don't get the idea that I let my emotions take over. It's so easy to fool yourself in times like those. Of he didn't course, know what to I do. I wouldn't either. An answer. I was confused, and I told her I needed time to give me a few days. I said they could stay with me instead of at a motel. Uh, what? Hold on. <laughs> you didn't let Faye and Jenny stay in the main house. Oh, what the hell was that? It's just my room there. About ten years ago, when I moved back in, Aunt Claire started visiting me a lot. So I converted the old garage into a guest house. My aunt is it just better at safe distance. Oh my goodness. Also, if you're on TikTok, welcome in. Oh, not my total viewers being 666. Can somebody else come in? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> welcome in, TikTokers. Oh, my goodness. I just need one more person to look at this. <laughs> um, Did she tell you her last name? She never told you her last name? No last name, no address. I would have told the police. I didn't ask her for her number either. She never left the house that whole time, and <laughs> I guess we were past that stage by that point. Well, at least he gave him a place to stay. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Did Faye do anything strange? Anything that took you aback? Uh, no. The view count she cracked it. That woman is the devil. Mm -hmm. Taking care of her. Playing. <laughs> it sounds dumb, but I was even a little jealous. Uh-oh. After that first night, did anything ever happen again between you two? No, no. I don't know. It was all so strange, as if we were suddenly 20 years older. It would have been hard <gasps> for me to Thank see you, Music Shot, for the, uh, for the gifts. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. We were the first time. Oh, just like the typical absentee father, you know, just buy him a, pa a pack of Pampers and you think you did, you know, enough for three years of parenting, you know. Um. Did she tell you why she disappeared that first night? Did she apologize? No, and I didn't ask her to. You have any idea how many times I've done that? <laughs> I've got the gist of it. Oh. 
So I'm wondering, is he in his father's? Because this is his old house. So I wonder if, if he's in his father's old study, right? What the hell? Um. How long were they here? I've been thinking back on it these days, and I'd say it was exactly three weeks. They got here on a Sunday, and as you know, they disappeared on the Sunday. Are you okay? Do you want to take a break? No. Did she tell you anything about She might be a crazy heifer, but at least she's a good mama. Apparently, she was about to start a master's in something like what you did, I guess. But she had to hit the brakes because of her pregnancy. Only child, father a widower, pretty well off, pretty old, and hoping for grandkids. Kind of looks like it if you remove the walls. Oh no, not pirates again. When you slept together the first night, she said she was on birth control, didn't she? Did you talk about it afterwards? She was sure she hadn't skipped a single day. But, of course, no method is 100% effective. As a person who got pregnant while on birth control, that is, yeah, <laughs> definitely correct. <laughs> wow. A young girl, single, with an unwanted pregnancy. She didn't think about getting an abortion? She told me that she was going to at first, but after a few days, <laughs> I think I get it. Aww. <sighs> your mom had your sibling through NuvaRing? I, I was on NuvaRing. NuvaRing owes me some money. But you know what's so crazy? I think NuvaRing had a class action lawsuit against it. I think. I don't know for sure. Allegedly. Um, because anyway, a lot of people were getting caught up on NuvaRing. Good. But then things got warped. Like my head started to rebel. Like if it was pissed off that I was doing well. <laughs> Wake up, Eddie. Wake up. What's up, you were found? Thank you for the share. Thank you for sharing the video, the live. I was mean to Jenny, Mom. I'm sorry. We're doomed because of you, sweetie. You're no better than him. Oh, no. Why he got two scratches on his shoulder? He did something in that car. We about to find out, I'm guessing. But it's like, why, why is, what's her name? What's her name? I forgot her name already. Um, why did old girl set him up? Like, I don't know. I don't know why I wanted to call her Tammy. Oh, he hurt his collarbone. You right, you right, you right, Valmary. I forgot about that. I'm starting to think Faye did some extra stuff to him and probably, I don't know. Y'all, this game is very, like we're piecing certain stuff together, but the game is kind of keeping us at arm's length. So that way we don't find out like the big shebang at the end. And mind you, I've never watched Vertigo, the actual movie, so I definitely don't know what's going on. 
I do like the fact that it's it's giving us just enough to keep us interested, you know. So I will say, I will say that as much as I'm frustrated and confused, I'm like, okay, it's doing what it needs to do. The game is giving, I guess. This is very different from the movie, but it does have slightly similar themes. Okay. Was so this, it a recurring night? This is just a modernized version of the movie, Always I'm guessing. the same message. And the days weren't much better. I'd wake up exhausted, couldn't focus on anything. For years, I hadn't thought about them constantly. I hadn't relived their The creators were dragging the plot real bad, but I understand the intrigue. Mm. Ed. 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 Huh? Jenny's temperature is 103.6. Huh? There's a first aid kit in your bathroom cabinet. It should have everything. Did you check if there was any Advil? She's a baby, Ed. Let's go to the hospital. Get dressed. Not Leash Hick Hitchcock's <laughs> vertical. Why you spell it like that? <laughs> oh my goodness. Good night, Kiat. And good luck on your finals. Also, if you are in school, good luck on y'all finals, y'all. I know a lot of schools are wrapping it up and y'all doing like a lot of testing or whatever. So good luck, y'all, if y'all got stuff that y'all have to turn in. I have to get dressed. What else do I got to do? I wasn't paying attention and go to the car. That was it. Oh, can we get my phone? Oh, are there optional things? There might be optional things. Oh, and get some reading materials. All right, so let's go to the car. It's more midterm season for you because your school want, runs on a quarter system. Oh, okay. Well, good luck on your midterms. Oh, oh. He doesn't even have vertigo yet, Leash. I gotta walk all the way around. They probably planted the gun and the bottle, probably. Why'd you take so long? I got the book just this in case. This is not the time for books. Oh, excuse me, uh, wench. I know you sad, but I mean, and, and upset. Sorry. I'm just stressed out. Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Jeez Louise. Oh. I'll get them. Don't worry. And that's it? Until I woke up on the bridge. Yeah. All right, here we go, y'all. I think we about to crack. We about to crack the code or whatever the hell they got going on in this game. Oh, Lord. <laughs> it was like another one of my nightmares. It's clear as day that my car plunged down into the canyon, that the truck driver. Oh, but wait, we're not even halfway done. I don't I feel like because we still gotta remember what what the hell happened with um the neighbor. <sighs> what was all the house pics she took, and exactly that? Like, what's the reason for that? Like, it's just oh my god, it's too many too many questions, not enough answers. Is my dad once again choosing to abandon me? 
I tried to reach him without him noticing me, but... No! No! Oh. Yeah, let's get to the truth. I'm ready for the truth. I'm tired of all the lies and the, and the deception. Well, we both know what I remember. Should we try what I forget? All right. It's morphing time. <laughs> Not splat, yo. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome in, TikTokers. I'm just glad he put on some clothes, right? Was sitting around the house shirtless and funky. After this bit, we might have to call it though. Wake up, Eddie. Cause I ain't even gonna lie, I'm I'm hungry. <laughs> Why'd you do it, sweetie? Hmm. Why'd he do what? Well, it depends on what happens after this. If it if if we get for real answers, and it's something shocking, I might play a little bit longer. We'll see. We all know that therapy is only effective with your yiddies out, pretty much. <laughs> okay. So I guess we're analyzing dreams now. Focus on your sister's face, please. Is Boss. there anything unusual about it? Her, Her eyes are brown. They're brown. They'd always been blue. And do you remember what color face baby's eyes are? Brown. Focus on your mother's face, please. Focus on her and tell me what you see. So, I am so... She has face, face. I'm confused. But she's my mom. Oh! What is that thing called? Oedipus, the Oedipus complex or whatever the hell? Can you see anything unusual outside? No, there's nothing weird. The moon, the stars, the lake, everything's normal. Nothing missing or extra. Nothing. Okay. Are those the clothes you were wearing that day? Yes. <laughs> What's going ones? on? I the have no idea. The same ones. Uh, am I streaming on, oh no, I'm on YouTube today. I'm on, on Mondays, I stream on YouTube. All right, so we did all the secondary stuff. Is there anything odd about the bathroom? Anything else? Dreams are weird. No, everything is normal. Okay. So there has to be something else out here. I can't go that way. Oh, the alarm clock. Do you remember what time you went to bed that night? Around 11? Very early for me, but I was exhausted. All right. We did that. 
now back to square one. Okay. She dressed up like his mom. I think she's trying to torment him based on the local bridge issue. Mm, that could be. That could be the case. Yeah, because she did. Yeah. Because she did go out her way to find pictures of his family. I want some answers too. <sighs> Just get to the point. I can't take this anymore. Get to the point. Oh, okay. This is secondary stuff. T-pose to assert submissiveness, please, Jenny. <laughs> Can you make out your father's features? He's really far away. Okay, and then there's something on the floor. Are you sure those tire marks were made by your car? Could be. Next to the marks, are there any footprints? No, the ground is really dry. All right. Oh, back down memory lane. Yeah, why is his shirt off? Do you recognize your father, his face? His Where you close back it? is to me. And his body? He looks a little shorter. Hmm. Focus on your feelings, on your body. He's a nudist. It's weird. I'm exhausted and at the same time full of energy. My head hurts, my neck, my eyes feel heavy and tired. All right, we're done with that. That's it, that, that, that didn't give us any answers. What the heck? Ouch, he has to be naked to enter his mind palace, <laughs> not his mind palace. I guess. <sighs> this game really is edging us. We are being edged. So? We got an achievement. So? What did she just realize? What did I tell you? Doctor, you're scaring me. Julia? When we dream, we lose some of the details. We, we see certain things extremely clearly but the rest tend to be out of focus you remember very concrete details including the exact time down to the minute doing the math the first time you dreamt about your mother you should have been in stage two of n-r-e-m sleep the probability of dreaming in that during that phase is minimal. Am I supposed to be understanding something of all that? <laughs> That's the same thing I was thinking. Like what? Okay, can we speak in uh, non sciencey terms, please, ma'am? Why 
my God. They got her same outfit on The Sims. They really do. All right, y'all. We're going to have to end it here. If society tortures someone to the point of breaking their identity, they will create a new identity that will pay back all the damage received. Well, we're going to have to stop right here. Because I am hungry. And I can't take it anymore. <laughs> so, <laughs> next, right, next time on Dragon Ball Z... Hopefully that'll be the end because I'm pretty sure this game is only 10 hours from what I've seen or it's like around 8 to 10 hours. Um, and so far I've played 6 hours. So, yeah. <sighs> anyway, so hopefully the next time we play this game it'll be the final time we play this game. And we finally get the answers that we so rightfully deserve because I'm tired. All right. <laughs> anyway, let me say bye to TikTok first. Hold on. Um, to all the TikTok people, thank you so much for coming out and uh, rocking with me. I appreciate. Hold on. Let me see if this saves. Is it going to save? Yeah, save. Anyway, uh, I will see you all TikTok. I don't stream on, I don't stream on Tuesday, but this Wednesday I am streaming. So I will do a dual stream on Wednesday, um, on Twitch and on TikTok. I will be playing, um, what's that new game that came out? What's that new game that came out? What's that game? The one with the vampires? Whatever that new game came out with the vampires, I'll be playing that on Wednesday with Makeup and Jedi. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll stream on TikTok. Maybe I won't. It depends. It just depends on how I feel. Uh, but anyway, y'all take it easy. Be good to yourselves. Take care of yourselves. Be kind to yourselves. Redfall. Thank you, Music Shot. Uh, and TikTok, if I don't see you on Wednesday, I'll see y'all on Friday or Saturday. All right. Bye, y'all. Bye, half us on TikTok. <laughs> Um, now for the people on the tube of you, um, anyway, yeah. So Tuesday, of course, I'm playing Dead Island with Baron and Jedi. And then Wednesday, I'm playing Redfall with Makeup and Jedi. And I think a fourth person. I don't know who did this game freeze. Oh, I was about to say. So now for your real fans, Je uh, John and please, please, for the love of God. So yeah, so anyway, thank y'all for coming out and supporting me on any platform that I'm on. <laughs> I appreciate y'all so much because y'all really do show up and show out. Also, um, uh, for anybody who's new or is not in the Discord or doesn't follow me on Twitter, I am nominated for a couple of awards for the Bi BIPOC... Um, streamer awards uh basically wherever you see my name just vote for me <laughs> i was i was nominated for several categories music shot thank you so much for the five i appreciate it thank you thank you thank you where's the link to that thing hold on yeah you can only vote once but what i i, I voted twice the thing that i did was that i voted once on my main browser and then i voted a second time with a different email on like my uh, incognito browser so i did vote um twice hold on let me see if i could copy the link address hold on i'm putting it in the chat so you can vote here i was um oh shit! it just it finally went through jesus christ that took forever so i got voted for twitch streamer of the year spidey sense awards chatterbox awards and i got nominated for the TikTok streamer award and i didn't know that one they only sent me emails about the three that i mentioned first so yeah so make sure y'all vote for me uh normally i don't really promote myself uh, with stuff like this or whatever but i was like you know what i uh, might as well you know might as well get y'all to vote for me on something i don't know it is what it is. My my reward for doing this is being able to do this for a living. So I really, I really don't be needing kudos. I'm just like, as long as I can pay my bills and do something I love, that's all that matters to me. Um, but your support and love is very much appreciated. 
Um, if we win, we're drinking. Oh, of course, definitely. We're getting wasted. We're getting sloshed. We're getting enlightened. Um, so yeah, y'all, y'all take it easy. Also over here, be good to yourselves. Take, take care of yourselves. Be kind to yourselves. Thank y'all for the memberships. Thank you for the, um, the tips. I don't know what else is on here. The subscriptions. Thank you for subscribing, following all that good stuff. I will see y'all tomorrow on Twitch, on Twitch. Good night and goodbye.